This is my review on 2000's classic Ghost Rider. I give this a 10 out of 10. For being the gosh darn cutest cheesy love story of all time. What is of 10 out of cheesy action, cheesy campy villains, lots of dumb ideas that, you know, one could say that this movie is, is sacrilegious and crucifying Ghost Rider's social tale, but who gives a fuck? It's a fun time. It is, but it's a fun time. <laughs> so, so is the Ghost Rider sacrilegious and against the source material at the Marvel Ghost Rider that Marvel has done in the MCU. It's about as faithful adaptation as this one, one could not argue. In fact, I will make that case in point. One for being saying, instead of Ghost, uh, MCU's Ghost Rider in his comic book campfire, his, he has a helmet as a skull, but in the MCU, and yes, Asian Social does take place in the MCU, he has just a generic skull as a skull instead of a helmet. Case close. Drop the mic. So, this movie deserves to get praise. Every bit of praises I'm giving this movie. That's why this gets a 10 out of 10. While the story might be straightforward and blah 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 and not very creative, I would argue so is 2012's Avengers. Suffers the same case. Check in, mate. There's no argument over that. <laughs> and people love that movie for some reason. People seem to love that movie. I'm pretty sure people are in time going to love this movie. One can hope. I can hope. So yeah, this is why I guess a 10 out of 10. Oh, and the cast does a great job. You have the screen time and being really over the top and fun. You wish Nicolas Cage would get more on board, though. But luckily he got more on board with the sequel. What's being really cheesing over the top. Instead of playing it straight. Like he does in this one. So yeah, that's why I said 10 out of 10. Bye bye. And subscribe. Like this video. Please. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, yeah. I give this a 10 out of 10, right? Yeah, I did, right? No, no. I was asking myself.